Okay, welcome to class. This week, we're moving on to a new topic, how cultural anthropologists have looked at popular sports. As you may know, anthropologists have said that one goal of their discipline is to make the strange seem familiar and the familiar seem strange. The second half of this saying certainly holds true for recent studies of popular sporting events. Spectator sports are far more than mere entertainment, some scholars claim. They are public rituals that reflect the inner life of the communities that practice them. In the United States, such analyses have opened a window onto the symbolic meanings of American football, that nation's most popular sport. American football evolved in the 1880s from rugby. As with rugby, the goal was to carry a ball into the opponent's end of the playing field. But the new sport divided teams into different units for offense and defense. It also offered more ways to advance the ball, and it allowed teams to pause after each play to plan their next move. The result was a physical game of strategy, a kind of blend of rugby and chess. So what symbolic meanings have scholars uncovered in this uniquely American sport? Three main interpretations have emerged. One school sees a sport from an economic point of view, though scholars differ on the details. American football was born during the Industrial Age, and for some it seems to reflect that era by stressing group cooperation through specialization and the division of labor. Others, however, see it as being organized like a modern corporation into departments with different functions. Yet despite their differences, these scholars unite in the view that football supports the core values of capitalism, including the belief that cooperation, hard work, and obeying authority lead to success. However, another group of scholars finds something more fundamental beneath the surface of the game. For them, it recalls traditional rituals related to the basic forces of nature. The core ritual, in this view, celebrates the cycle of life. The football season, for example, begins near harvest time and concludes after the new year. That ancient core, however, is integrated into a largely Christian calendar, with games held each Sunday, the day of worship, and on the religious holidays of Thanksgiving and Christmas. The result is a ritual that blends the sacred and the non-sacred, uniting Americans of all religions and no religion, not under a common God, but under a common social identity. Well, the final interpretation of football is as symbolic war. The game has always involved a military language, and the associations with warfare have grown as football has become more complex and violent. Today, like ancient soldiers in suits of armor, the big, powerful players rely on the protection of hard helmets and thick, heavy uniforms to play more aggressively. The game also expresses the military ideals of discipline, courage, honor, and technical excellence. So while other sports also seem to be battles or fights, the military nature of American football is particularly strong.